Hey guys and girls, what's going on? In this video, we're going to be playing some more Odd World New and Tasty and getting the trophy Still Life. It is a gold trophy, and the details say escape stockyards and free fire zone without triggering at the alarm or dying. Now, for me, I did this by only doing the chapter stockyards. Now, the only re and not doing the chapter free fire zone. So I don't know whether or not that's a glitch or that's the way it's meant to be. The hint for me is that it says escape stockyards and free fire zone now the chapter stockyards happens to go through free fire zone uh, territory so it happens to go through that area as well so that is the only reason why I think that it's like that and it's because it says escape and so what you want to do is you want to escape stockyards and you're escaping from rupture farms but when you go into the chapter free fire zone you're actually returning to um, rupture farms you're not escaping so that's the kind of uh, all the clues that I have from the details there for the reason why you only you have to do the chapter stockyards and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just showing you what how to do this so uh, as you can see we're in the chapter stockyards and we're just going through and uh, making sure we do not get hit do not trigger any of these lasers uh, mine thingies and do not um, so these are the lasers that open up the uh, trigger the alarm alarm and also by not dying so we're just gonna go through and not die through this whole game so well just for this chapter so as you can see I've just got through the area that is so, uh, called stockyards and then there is this cutscene so what you have to do is you can skip it if you've already gone through the game once and that's what I do and then you just want to run across here now there is a trick for this part here that if you jump late enough you can end up catching the ledge like that and it does not wake him up um, but if he does wake up then you just have to sneak behind him and just wait for him to turn around so we can go into the next area of mist or fog or smoke or whatever you want to call this stuff and you just have to make sure that they do not see you otherwise they will kill you and then for this bit here you have to make sure that the bottom guy is not facing you when you jump down because otherwise he will see you jump in there and he will shoot you so you just want to make sure he does that otherwise when you land if he is like that uh, he doesn't shoot you because he just goes what the heck was that I heard something and then he just goes back to normal so down here you just want to climb down very easily you can uh, walk up to this mine without blowing up this mine up the top will not hit you and then you just want to sneak across and duck down as you go across so you can not trigger the alarms remember so you have to be careful about that and you want to just sneak across and scr across and across now you can just sneak like uh, when you're crouching you can crouch sneak uh, which is a lot slower but you know you don't have to jump up and down so you don't risk um, getting hit by the mines that fl are floating above you and you just want to make sure you don't wake up that scrab scrag scrag that slog scrag slip what were they called slogs that's what they're called not scrags what am I on about okay so for this area here you can just time it so that you can start rolling and if you think you're gonna get hit in the head by one of those things you just start rolling it down the ground so you run and run and then you can roll at the end just to make sure that you don't get hit uh, but you can make it all the way across without um, getting hit also I am doing this on hard because this is the chat this is uh, the safe that I did this and I played through the game on hard the whole way through and so as you can see I'm playing on hard so there may be some uh, irregular irregularities uh, between you know uh, playing on easy medium or hard uh, because of just the the difficulty settings so as you can see you just want to jump across here and just make sure that you wait for the lasers to be far across far enough across and then you just want to sneak across now you can probably just run across like that without having to uh, get rid of this slick um, I mean I keep wanting to call them slogs or something like that uh, but yeah so you can just sneak across I don't know if whether or not I do this because I tried killing him and it looks like I just I just jump across so as you can see he just goes out of screen so he can't hear me when I jump down here and then you just jump when the laser is nowhere near you now he's gonna roll off the edge and we're gonna be here so what you want to do here is I just grab the checkpoint and then you just come down here and grab a rock you want the rock so you can blow up this slog that's sleeping and you just come up to here and you just sneak across so that he doesn't wake up and when you get to the edge you just throw this rock at the mine you will not die if you're up here so you just throw it at the mine and it'll blow him up and it will knock you back but you will not die then you just want to wait for this other slig to come across 
and then when he turns around and leaves the area it leaves like his um hearing vision so once he's off screen you just jump across and then you just sneak across here now i do try and sneak all the way to the second one usually you can but then i turn to turn back and some he, he does shoot at me but then he doesn't hit me so i was like oh my goodness how do, how does this work and he's just looking around he's like where are you i wonder where he went so as you can see now i have to just wait in the second one you could like actually get to the second one and then go to the third one so you don't have to spend so much time here but just because uh he turned around too early i had to wait so once you're through that area that is like kind of some of the hardest parts of this uh section then you just want to get across here now this is where you run into the slogs the doggy looking guys so you just want to jump across this mine and there'll be a dog at the other end over here so you just want to turn around run back and jump over the mine and he will blow himself up and just make sure you he's not too close to you otherwise it, otherwise you will die as well uh, the mine will blow you up as well so the next section here what you want to do is you want to wake up the slog i tried to throw the you can actually hit the mine um and blow him up and stuff like just with the rocks that's what i was trying to do but then if you do end up hitting him then what you do is you run back here and he will chase you and then you run past and you make him uh trigger the mine again and as you can see he died and then you got your last couple of rocks and you just throw them up here boom 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 and it's going to kill all those slogs and then you just jump up and then that's the end of this chapter and once you go into the cutscene you should get the trophy as i'm about to do that so hey where is the trophy there it is still life so that's all i had to do to get the trophy hopefully i didn't glitch it hopefully that is how you're meant to do it um that's how i believe you're meant to do it uh but you know the the description is a bit confusing so that's all I'm really going to say for this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you can get the trophy. And now it's time for me to say, see you guys and girls.